I'm trying to be out of here in the next 30 minutes. I don't know why I'm bringing all these clothes. I don't, I don't plan on going anywhere. But if I do, I will be ready. I can't remember if I've been to Houston before or not. I haven't brushed my teeth. I haven't washed my face. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Kind of knew that was going to happen. Okay. All right. I hate rushing like so, so, so much. I'm going to show you today. So I'm waiting on my Uber right now. Um, I want you to have a good time. Um, if I fix my Uber account, I'm sure I can. I can at least get around. So, because I don't... You know how with a paradise, so you know, uh, player I know, girl. That's why I got to get my Uber account fixed so I can be mobile. See, nah, I'll just do the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my location anyway. But um, seriously, when I get in the airport, I have to fix. I'm, I'm blogging, by the way. I have to fix my Uber account because for whatever reason, it's not working. It keep asking me for my security code, for my debit card. And it's saying that it's incorrect. So, but I'm excited. I'm sleepy and I'm actually a little bit hungry. So I probably, my flight is not till 12 and it's only 9.16. So the other people been there. So I'm going to just go and get me something to eat and just chill out. I just, it just feel good to not have to rush. You know, when you're doing stuff by yourself, you don't have to rush. You don't have to wait for nobody. You can just <laughs> go. Finally made it to the airport. I got my TSA pre-check and I got my bags checked and we're going through security right now. And it's crowded. It seems like it's more crowded over here than uh, it was in the regular line. So everybody got TSA pre-check now. What's the point? Finally done with the security checkpoint. Now I'm hungry. I need to get me something to eat. I think we came super early because I still have about two and a half hours before my flight boards. But you know, with Atlanta, you never know how busy it's going to be. So you just kind of got to come early so you don't have to be rushing. So I'm going to get something to eat now. Okay, I have arrived in my room. I am tired. I had a, a I had a great flight. Since I've gotten a little bit older and I've flown a lot, I've started to get really like anxious on flights. So like if it's any little inkling of turbulence, wind, if it a noise is too loud, like I panic a little bit on the inside. And I've flew a lot of places for an extended amount of time. But I had a good flight. It was a flight that was an hour and a half. I probably only slept half of an hour. And the rest of it I was up watching Insecure. And um, yeah, so now I'm hungry again. Waiting on everybody else to get here so we can see what we're about to eat. And then at some point I think that um, I'm gonna hang out with my little sister because she's here for school. So hopefully we can go out to dinner or something. And I'm thinking I want to do like a little mini photo shoot. It's time for me to update my YouTube banner, my YouTube intro, and all of that good stuff. So I think I want to do that. What y'all think? <laughs> Niece is on the phone. <laughs> I have a Mika's top. Um, set in Zara cargo pants. And Steve Madden for the shoes. And Kizzy on the beat. So I'm 
waiting on my Uber now. And um, this is kind of like my first time traveling by myself. So it's just kind of like I am conquering a new fear. I told you guys, I'm in my transition era and I'm conquering fear. So I'm not going to stay in my hotel room, even though my sister flaked on me. And I'm still going to go out. I'm still going to hang out. I'm going to have a good time. I got my location shared with like five people. Everybody knows who I am. So I feel safe enough. But it's not going to stop me from having a good time. So I'm about to go smoke me some hookah, eat me some food, and come back and get in the bed and start my day over again tomorrow. And do this all over again tomorrow. So I'm excited. And I will see y'all when I get an Uber. Okay, so it's the next day. I'm back and um, I'm about to get ready to do it all over again. Um, I didn't even vlog when I got back. So I probably stayed out for maybe like two hours because I was by myself. I did meet some nice guys that invited me over to their table and like we talked and exchanged numbers and Instagram and stuff like that. So they were really nice. They bought me drinks. Well, they didn't buy me drinks. Let me back up. So I went to this place called Nomad. It's like a hookah lounge slash restaurant situation. And when I literally, when my Uber pulled up, I read on the, the door, it said BYOB. And I was like, whoa, BYOB? Like, cause that's not advertised on the website. Like if you Google it, the security guard was like, yeah, this, um, we don't serve alcohol here, but you can Uber, Uber eats it. So I tried to do that when I was at my table by myself, but it never came. <laughs> So <laughs> I guess it wasn't meant for me to have, but the guys were sitting at the table literally directly next to me and they invited me over. We enjoyed the rest of the night. So um, they did invite me somewhere after, but I had to work the next day. So I was just like, you know what? I'll catch you guys on the flip. But he did tell me to text him today because he'll tell me like where to go. So my sister made me change the reservations to today. So I changed our reservations for today. She's not going to flake on me, thank God. But even if she did, you know what? Like I told y'all last night, I'm doing me, period. The restaurant looks delightful. It's a seafood, it's like a surf and surf restaurant, but I think it's more seafood based. I did book the photo shoot situation and um, I sent her my location. I paid my deposit. So I feel like all super professional because after this semester, I have youtube time i will have my youtube time i can show y'all my real personality be a regular person confidence booster like i think my last photo shoot was maybe two years ago at this point and it was for my hair I don't know what me and my sister are going to do after her schedule is like pretty hectic so i'll see like how dinner goes and go from there but um even if she can't hang out once again your girl is still going outside because i am outside I am outside, I am outside, I am outside. I'm in the streets. Say hi to my vlog. Hey. Hold on, wait, it's not, why is it not focused? Okay, there we go. Okay, my sister didn't stand me up today. <laughs> <laughs> I talked about you yesterday on my vlog. Really? <laughs> I did. So she made it. Yes, I did. <laughs> and we got espresso martinis. This is my very first one. She had it before, so. It's gonna be good. Cheers to my lawyer sister because Cheers. she's so smart. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> It tastes like coffee. <laughs> I'm not smart. It, it's been smear in other places. I don't know. They, they it might be the bubble gum. They didn't the put. Gum. It tastes like they didn't put any like mm. cream. Thank you. Thank you. It tastes like they didn't put like any cream and sugar in here.
said in Texas, you have to try a barbecue. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna try a, te a barbecue in Texas. whatever that is and I also have ranch beans Texas was good, Houston was cute. I'm definitely coming back, but I'm ready to go home now. I was here for work, if I haven't already said that. So, I had to work. I didn't have as much free time as I would have liked, but I'll be back. So, and I think I did enough in a short amount of time that I was here. So like, I did have Texas and barbecue, I mean, Texas and barbecue, barbecue in Texas. Um, what else did I do? I did go out, catch a little bit of the nightlife. I did do my YouTube photo shoot and I hung by myself. So I think your girl accomplished everything that was on her to-do list. And I think y'all should be proud of me because I'm proud of me. So I'll see y'all when we back in A. Hey girl, hey. Did you miss me? Give me the back, man. Did you miss me? I did. 